Hello friends, it's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching for another daily vlog video. I'm and here because I'm sick. <laughs> she's home today. So today is Tuesday. She went to school yesterday. She's not contagious. She's on antibiotics. She's on steroids. She just has a really bad cough and mm -hmm. she could have gone to school honestly today. She could have gone to school, but she woke up and she was coughing and I just said, you know what? Let yes. me just let let me just let her stay home. <laughs> um, I'm staying home. You're staying home today. She's fine though. She's absolutely fine. Just you know how like when you have something up here and then it moves down here and it's it's getting way better. I just didn't want her coughing and coughing. She was kind of gagging. Yeah, I took her medicine. I got one more day. Yeah, she she took her medicine this morning. She only has one day left of the antibiotics mm -hmm. and one day left of the steroid. She's doing a lot better. Just I didn't want her going to school when she felt. Like she was coughing so much, she was kind of gagging and getting nauseous. So I just kept her home. She's already feeling a lot better. It's like 10 o'clock and she's fine. Um, she's eating Fruit Loops. She's drank Sprite. She's had a popsicle. She's had her antibiotic. So we're going to actually run and do a couple errands, get her out of the house a little bit. Like I said, she's not contagious. I'm not going to take her to the doctor again or anything. What errands? What does errands mean? Errands is like when you go to stores or you go run. What does errands mean? You do like things you have to do outside the house. So I need to get her a humidifier filter. We are out. And um, I think that'll help during the night. She didn't cough at all during the night. So I think everything just kind of settled. Um, and I kind of want to go into Belk and look and see if they have any of their boots out. I'm not sure they will yet. But I desperately need some casual flat boots. And Target didn't have any yesterday. So what? My Good job. So we might run into Belk and run into Walmart and get the humidifier filter. Look for her a Halloween costume. Tomorrow is early release day at school, so they're going to get out at like 11.15 or 11.20 tomorrow. So she'll probably go and we'll just get to go do something fun for lunch after school. I guess they're having like a teacher day or something tomorrow. I hate when they do early release, but it'll be fun, right? I feel like I have to get them ready for school and then like they're there for like a few hours. <laughs> That's it. So anyways, uh, Nate's at school. He's happy. He's good. We actually got his insoles for his shoes. If you guys are following our whole orthopedic thing with him. He's having to wear some insoles for his shoes because his, his feet were like turning in a little bit. And he is, he's like kind of pigeon toed. So hopefully that's going well. <laughs> I got him new shoes over the weekend and um, there wasn't a whole lot of choices, so I just kind of had to pick one. And of course, they were expensive. And then I had to get the sorry it. We had the crunching. It's okay. Your crunching is not bothering anybody. She said, "Sorry for the crunching." She's eating her Fruit Loops, right, Lucy? Fruit Loops. They're they're berry Fruit Loops that I got at Ollie's for fifty cents for a family size box. That was a great find. They only had one of them, but. I would have bought more. Does that look a little different? So anyway, he's wearing his insoles today, so I'm kind of curious to see how that goes it's because purple. they're kind of hard. Um, it's purple with it's star purple. Oh yeah, that's cool. That one's cool. But anyway, I thought I'd carry you along. I've been enjoying doing the vlogs again. I am tired. I feel like we have had <sighs> we've just had so much going on. I haven't had a day at home where I could just do laundry and do housework and rest. It's been meetings and doctor's visits and sick and all this and tomorrow there's early release and next week is your field trip lucy's going to the pumpkin patch next week yeah and i have an appointment next week um ob appointment nate has an appointment next week just like lots of little things i'm just ready for it all to be over with <laughs> anyway 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 david is at work nate is at school and the girls are going to have a little shopping time of um little playing hooky for school but she could have gone but you know I would have just kind of worried about her so we're gonna have fun today and we'll take you guys along with us so are you ready to go yeah let's do it let's see what holiday are you ready for we're ready for Christmas y'all are you excited they have all their Christmas stuff out look at these pajamas you want to show them Lucy they have all this stuff out what do you want to show them Lucy's feeling fine. She's shopping it up. You have a tree kind of like that snowman one. It's just littler. You like that ornament? It's cute. Look at the rainbow one. That looks like you. Right there. That's cute. 
I'll touch it. It'll break. Don't want to break. Mini top one. Look. Like oh yeah, those are cute. I see the one. So hard. They have so many. Fuzzy. So excited. The what? The house. Oh. Yeah, the gingerbread if house. If I get an ornament, that's the only one that I get for the year. Yeah, we get to choose an ornament to put on our tree every year, don't we? Yeah. So we got to do some hard thinking about it. <laughs> we still got a little while before our tree goes up. Okay, do it very careful. Don't drop it here. It might be broken. It's okay. Broken. Hold it careful. This is making me nervous. Okay. Hang it right there. Can you do it? She's a pro. Good job. Well, we didn't find any boots here. They do have a bunch on sale, but none that I really liked. I want yeah, ones. I, really like. I want ones that are completely flat, and they all have a little bit of a heel. A little bit more flat than what they have. So we're gonna keep the boot search going. All right, so Lucy, you're about ready to head out. She doesn't want to leave the Christmas stuff. I don't blame you. Mark is moving around like crazy in here. Wait, more look at that! Ornaments. Look at the bump, y'all, from the from the top view. There's more ornaments. Yeah, you can put them on the tree. Okay, let's put this one in, and let's get out of here. We could we could stay here forever. Hey guys, we made it to Walmart, and it is so crowded here. It's 11 o'clock on a Tuesday morning. You wouldn't think it would be that busy. There's no school out or anything. Oh my gosh, it is packed. So we're about to go in. What are you doing, Lucy? I don't know what she's doing. We're about to go in. We need a humidifier. We need a thermometer because we've lost ours. I don't know where it is. And I hated it anyway. Oh, it was so annoying. It's like It took like seriously like five minutes to give you a temperature. And what else do we need? We need... I'm sure we'll see other stuff. <laughs> I actually have David picking up a Walmart grocery pickup today, this afternoon, on his way home from work. So I'm glad I don't have to like go deal with all the grocery sides of it. But I didn't think to put a humidifier filter on when I was doing my list last night. So we need that for Lucy. And I just want to go and have it for this time of year anyway. Huh? Your nail? Okay. All right, we're going to go in. Wish us luck. Okay, you guys, so we're looking at all the costumes at Walmart, and Lucy found the one she wants. Who do you want to be for Halloween? Who is that? Jasmine. Jasmine? And she likes that they're pants instead of a dress. Yeah. So I think we need, do we need to find you a crown? Yeah. You think? Oh, I, but I saw some crowns in the other store. Okay, we'll keep looking. We might find some more. You need a wand, but how are you going to hold your trick or treat bag if you have a wand? I can hold it? Of course. That's the solution. I can hold it. Oh boy. Okay. Well, I think it's cute. What do you guys think? I hope it fits her. It's a size four to six. Um, it looks a little big, but I want her to have plenty of room. She's she's right in there. A size four to six should fit her. Yeah, that wouldn't really match. That wouldn't really match your clothes anyway. All right, let's see if we can find some accessories for your costume. We're still thinking about what Nate can be. Oh, that would be cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't run off. Okay. She found glow in the dark stuff. We like a bracelet to put on um, your arm. How about these ones? Because they're pink and purple. Okay. 98 cents. That's not too bad. The boys. There's only Nate and he won't wear them. No. This, it'll, it, we're doing it different this year. Well, we don't need that because you're going to be Jasmine. All right. Let's just get these. Bracelets are great. Okay. Stick them in the buggy. Let's go look for crowns. Yeah, we need a crown. Kind of. Oh, there's a cheeky cheek. But have Yeah, but mommy got you a bag this time. Are you okay with just a bag? Yeah. Would you rather have a pumpkin or are you okay with a candy bag? I'm okay with a candy bag. Okay, I think it'll be easier for you to carry. Alright, let's go look at the accessories. You ready? Alright, you guys. So she found her perfect crown. She picked out the color which just matches perfectly. Are you happy with your costume? Matches the pants. There's no wands, but I think we're okay with having no wand. 
You want to do the pink bracelet? Yeah. She's got it all planned out, y'all. You're going to be a beautiful the, Jasmine. All the I think Jasmine is one of my favorite princesses. Who is your favorite princess? Leave it down below. Who's your favorite princess, Lucy? Yeah. Belle. She was Belle last year. So, All right, let's go get our other boring stuff we need. I love it. You want to push? Be Guys, careful. I just took my blood pressure. Let's see what it says. Congratulations. <laughs> Your blood pressure has been taken. I like to take it. Um, I like to take it when I'm pregnant just to keep a good eye on it. It looks good. It looks fairly normal. So, All right. All right let's keep shopping. We got the humidifier filter. We got the little fishy. These are cool. They're supposed to keep your humidifier tank more clean. I'll shake it around too much. All right. All right, you guys. So we're home. Don't go to Walmart hungry, especially when you're pregnant. I'll just say that. <laughs> but I just thought I'd show you real quick. We have a bigger haul that I'll film tonight. Um, but you saw Lucy's costume. So we did get that. That was like $25. I have been wanting a salad for lunch today. It just sounded good. So I got this salad mix and I got a thing of popcorn chicken to put on top. I'm going to share this with Lucy. She'll have half and I'll have half, but I don't know. It just sounded good to put that on top of that. This also sounded good. This guacamole, guacamole salsa. We're having tacos tonight, which I do need to defrost. I don't know why that's not focusing. Um, I need to defrost our ground beef. But I don't know. This just sounded really good. If you've never had this, it's delicious. Some tortilla chips to go with it. I ordered a package of these for tonight. But um, <laughs> I just didn't feel like it was going to be enough to get me through the week. You guys, this is my biggest pregnancy craving. I want these like every day. If I don't have them, I get so sad. It is the weirdest thing ever. But baby Mark really likes these. And... Sometimes if there's nothing else that sounds good, these do. I also ordered some apples for the grocery pickup, but I got the green ones and Lucy would rather have the, you know, more reddish pink ones. So these were only like 86 cents a pound or something. They were really cheap. It's right here. You want to look at the iPad? You can have it. So we just picked out two apples for her. I got this $5 thermometer that says I hate when it doesn't focus but anyway it says it'll be 30 second folk or 30 second you know timer that it'll go off in 30 seconds with the temperature so hopefully it will um fingers crossed on that I hate I always have issues with therm thermometers um I got some humidifier filters I went ahead and got two of them we have a couple of humidifiers so we can run them in the kids rooms if they need it and then I got just one of the little cleaning fish, Lucy's crown, the glow sticks, and then we got a couple treats. So Lucy wanted some M&M caramels. So I told her we could, I usually let her have like one or two M&Ms at night or for dessert after lunch or just for a little sweet treat. So this little bag will last her a while. And then while we we're looking at the candy, these are my favorite chocolates. And, um, I just wanted them, so I got them. And then Lucy also picked out a donut. I told you guys, I have no, I'm I'm weak right now when I'm going shopping the hungry. So she picked out a chocolate donut. This will be for later. She's not going to have all this at once. Treat, treats abound. But anyway, we're going to eat lunch now, and we'll check back in with you guys. We already have to get Nate in like an hour and a half, so the day is practically over. But I am so hungry, so we're going to eat. Okay, you guys, I am looking really rough. I am so tired. I don't know, like, today is kicking my butt. I got the kids home from school, got Nate and everything. Lucy's been playing with my hair, so it's a mess, but I love when people play with my hair. David just picked up groceries, and I am dreading putting all those away. I think he went out to get more from the car. My face is all broken out, and we had a mix up by the post office. They're, like, taking longer to process the packages that come in. So I have no jewelry to show, no new jewelry to show tonight for my jewelry show. Ugh. So I'm going to have to pull out some vaulted older pieces and stuff and hopefully we do okay. But also I wanted to show you guys, oh man, there's more stuff. I'm dreading it. Grocery day is fun and yet a pain. Um, I got some Color Street Nails to try. One of my friends sells it. And they were having a special where you could get 
buy one get one free French manicures and I have I've heard great things but I used to like I tried Jamberry back in the day or I guess it was only like a few years ago and they always would come off my nails no matter like how long they said they were supposed to last they never lasted more than a couple days I am really hard on my nails so I'm gonna test these out and see I just I don't know I have very non high hopes for them but we'll see but anyway I, I, I gotta get myself looking a little less crazy <laughs> so I'm gonna put all this away kids are playing Lucy seems to be feeling good and I have a mess in this house because we haven't done that much today Lucy's playing with her light bright Ooh, what is that you want to show them Lucy's playing with her light bright which she loves what did you make? Ooh, what is it? A flower? No. What is it? It's, I tried to make an H, but I didn't have enough to make an H. Yeah. Oh, so it, so it was going to be a H. An H? Oh. Well, if you take some of that out of the middle, you probably could bake it. Yeah, I'll put it. Sit down before you fall. Nate is sitting over there in a pile of Peppa Pig books. <laughs> you probably brought them out of my room. What are you reading? Blue Squares and Peppa Pig at the same time. What are you reading today? He's reading this one I'm with Oh, yeah, he's got Blue's Clues out, too. And Nate loves to sit in a pile of books. It's his favorite thing. Hey, how was your day at school today? Hey guys, so here's what we're having for dinner. Tacos. Got the shells in the oven. Lettuce, cheese, taco sauce, and then, um, don't mind the mess, but I made Nate a quesadilla with the taco meat and the cheese. What's wrong? And Lucy doesn't really like quesadillas or tacos, so she's having pancakes and fruit. So, Nate has a big bowl of strawberries here. So that is what... I know I gotta get you some veggies, but you had a lot of fruit on there. Okay, we're waiting on our stuff to cool so we can eat. Everything is a hot mess in here, and I honestly just want to get over with so I can sit down. Hello, everybody. So <laughs> it's now the next day. Oh my gosh, I was so out of it last night. I was so beyond tired, emotionally, physically drained. Having sick kids, and even she wasn't even that sick, but just like all the stress of her being sick all weekend and me being pregnant, I'm sure has a lot to do with it and different things going on. I just, I was exhausted. So I didn't even film anymore after dinner. We had dinner, we did our jewelry show, we went to bed. So I thought I would just add a little bit to this video and hopefully it's not 50 million years long. Hopefully not. Um, but anyway, so I am sitting in the car right now. It is 11 o'clock. Why am I sitting in the car waiting on the kids at 11 o'clock? They're having early release today. They only do this like every now and then. I don't even remember the last time. Usually it's like once a year or something, but there's like teacher, comp I don't even know what there is, something going on with the teacher's training. So they're letting the kids out at 1130, but my kids always come out early because Nate doesn't like waiting in the line. So they'll probably be out here another 10 minutes or so. Um, I got the kids to school this morning. David got them to school, but I got them ready for school. Lucy's feeling a lot better. She's still coughing, but she's fine. Like she's happy. She's eating. She's everything. She just finished up her antibiotics and the cough is just going to have to run its course. Um, it's really bad in the morning, like when she first wakes up. I got them to school and I went and laid back down for like an hour and like passed out. I'm telling you guys, I am exhausted. I feel like I could sleep and sleep and sleep and never catch up. But uh, it's just, I'm growing a child. I'm growing a baby. And we've had a lot of things going on behind the scenes that I don't even tell you guys everything, but just lots of little things. And um, got up, I got a shower, so I feel a lot better. I even blew dry my hair and I feel good. So I promised the kids we would go to a fun lunch after school because they're getting checked out. I mean, they're getting out before lunch. I think technically they still have lunch. So I sent them a little snack to eat, but it's not even their lunch time yet. So we're going to go to lunch. Um, I'm thinking probably Chick-fil-A because honestly, here's my pro mom tip that I've just learned. If you order on the app 
at Chick-fil-A, which I like ordering. I like doing the app anyway, even if I'm in the drive-thru because it's just really fast and I can kind of like see my total and customize things and make sure that I have it the way I want it. Um, because I'm type A and I'm a control freak. Uh, but if you order on the app inside the restaurant, you can put in your table number and then they bring it to you. So normally if we have to go into a restaurant and I have both kids and Nate wants to run off, I have to like have a death grip on his hand. And then I'm trying to like carry the trays of food and it's just chaos. Not anymore. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. They'll bring everything. You can put in how many ketchups you want and your drinks and they bring everything to your table and it is a game changer going out to eat with the kids. They can play and sit, you know, wait. I, usually Lucy wants to go play in the play place. Nate's iffy about it. So he can either sit with me or go play in the play place and I order the food real quick and then they just bring it to our table. So mom hack right there. It is amazing. So anyway, we're going to go do that and I need to get home ASAP and work on laundry <laughs> and work on our dirty, dirty apartment. Things have gotten completely out of control. You guys know when people are sick, it goes to complete heck and um, everything's a mess and everything's dirty and everything is just falling apart. So I need to get in there and clean up a little bit and um, I need to work on some YouTube stuff and do various things with the kids. They still have homework and all of the normal stuff. So we want to get all that done because we have church tonight. So I don't want to be by like, we have to leave by like six and they, by then they have to have their baths and dinner already. And then church goes late and all that. So that's the plan. I'll take the camera with us to Chick-fil-A. I'll show you guys. They love Chick-fil-A. It's getting to the point now where there's not very many more times where he's going to be able, Nate's going to be able to get a kid's meal because he can put away some food at Chick-fil-A. Uh, I think the biggest kid's meal is a six count and he usually eats that and then some of mine and then some of Lucy's. So it isn't going to be long and he's going to eat an adult meal and he's seven, but he loves Chick-fil-A and he's so active. He burns off every single thing he ever eats. And, um, so it's just, it's always like me trying to get enough calories in him and he's a great weight. He's very healthy. The doctors are amazed at him, but he can put some food away. So before this gets too long, if it's already long already, I'm sorry. Some of you really like the long vlog. So this is a two in one, a twofer and, um, let me get the kids and let's go to Chick-fil-A. Okay, you guys, so we had fun at Chick-fil-A. We came home, we chilled, I did some laundry. I did not get as much done as I wanted to because that never happens. <laughs> I was tired from all of the fun at Chick-fil-A and I don't just, I don't know why else. Um, and it's five o'clock now. Lucy's had a shower. I'm gonna get everybody dinner. I a shower. I gotta get everybody dinner and I gotta get Nate a bath. Yeah. And then we're gonna head to church. I just sat down and tried out Color Street. Um, they're not perfect at all. They're not perfect. They're this one, especially this hand is really rough. Okay, look at this hand. This hand is better. Of course, I started with probably the hardest one, which is the French, the French manicure, and it's not, it's not straight. It's not, it's not great. <laughs> it's not great. But maybe from a distance, it looks okay. I'm not loving it. I should have just started with like a basic solid color, but I don't know. Those orange manicures were on sale and I thought they'd be fun to try. As I'm looking at them, I should have taken more of my time. I took, I did about 30 minutes and um, that's all I had. I was kind of rushing through, but anyway, have you guys done Color Street? Let me know. I've never tried it until just now and it's going to take some practicing. I do like that you don't have to wait for them to dry. That's nice. And um, we'll see how long they last or if I'm not even going to let these stay on because they honestly up close look terrible. Like the top coat is not straight and I don't know. Anyway, I think I'm going to make, I don't know what to make for dinner. I, I was looking at my meal plan and I had scheduled tacos for tonight, but I accidentally made them last night. <laughs> so they have a little bit of meat left over. I, I might make Nate another quesadilla because he ate that really well. I loaded a quesadilla full of taco meat and he loved it. So I might do that again for him and just let Lucy have like veggies and 
string cheese and some like little snacky stuff. She's happy about that. And then when David and I get home, we'll have leftovers. We'll have a sandwich. Something simple. So now I want to check back in with you guys. I'll check in again when we get home. Um, I'm in Nate and Lucy's class tonight at church. So if no kids show up, we'll probably come home early. But I think there are some coming. So hopefully it won't be too, too late. So that's always hard on Wednesday night when it goes late. So anyway, I'm going to get off here and make dinner. Try to file my nails a little bit more. Fix them somehow because I did not... I did not do good. Did not do good. All right, moving on. All right, guys, we are home from church. Got the kids to bed. Um, we did come home a little bit early because I didn't have any friends in our class. But Nate was cracking us up because he was doing, um, he's acting out. We have some puppets, and he was acting out all of the voices for Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, my gosh, he's killing me with it. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like talking it's so weird how like sometimes like holding a conversation with him is hard but he can do like really good um like role playing and so we had puppets and I was asking him different questions and he was coming right back out with answers and I'm like wow it's doing so good so anyway it was adorable David is on his way home and he said what are you gonna have for dinner and I was like well I have plenty of food we got tons of food um, yesterday for groceries and you guys saw that <laughs> and he's like you need to just bring something home and I was like yeah <laughs> so um, he gave me a bunch of choices and I picked Arby's Arby's is somewhere that I have I now out I like it but I never want it and but here lately when I've been pregnant I've had it a couple times which is a lot for me in a period of a few months so I'm gonna get my beef and cheddar which is good. I had two eating out today, though. That's not good. Chick-fil-A and Arby's. That's not good. <laughs> I gotta do better tomorrow. Um, look at my little, uh, with God, all things are possible bra uh, bracelet necklace. And my nails are growing on me. I kind of filed them down a little bit. They are still not perfect. But from a distance, they look good, right? <laughs> from a very far distance. Anyway, I'm afraid this video is going to be forever long. I've still got to edit it tonight so it can be up for you guys tomorrow. Kids are in bed. We got a little bit of housework done and two loads of laundry, which is not enough. I need to do way more tomorrow. Kids are back at school for a full day tomorrow. Yippee. Kaye. Yay. Hopefully everybody has a great day. And I don't go right back to bed as soon as they leave. And I can actually get stuff done. Because when you go right back to bed after the kids leave, and it really makes the day go by a lot faster. So it's just, you know, when you're pregnant, it just zaps your energy. So I love you guys. If you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a super duper big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Bye-bye.